So you teach me those chords, which I wasn't learning at the other guy. I was just learning, you know, open chords and bar chords. But these were like a whole, like, what's that? And then I, when I went to start go, when I went to watch Motley Crue play, I would I noticed Mick was using those chords too, and I'm like, those are heavy metal chords. So a lot of my songs at first had a lot of that, you know. And Randy too, you know. I'd learn those. He taught. He would teach me those different, uh, like that. You know, simple three chords, or you know, something easy. And then he would play over it, and then I'd tape record it, and I'd watch what he was doing, and I knew what scale he was, you know, doing. And then he would write it out, the tab. Literally, he would just like. Craig, I know if it's Craig's because it's already like printed the uh, fretboard. Randy would just get a piece of, he would just do it in a notebook and he'd you know write out the the tab like all by hand with the notes and everything and you know one two three four one four two I don't know that. So that's when I you know when I stumble upon stuff I know what's Randy's. Is all handwritten. Which Craig's is on a printed sheet. So he'd write it out, and then I'd come back the next week, and I better have it learned, or I wasn't being serious. And it was weird because I, you know, I was like, you know, I'm trying to grow my hair, and I'm trying to. He goes, you know what? That's that'll just come. That'll happen. But you, if you can't play guitar. How are you going to be a rock star or be, you know, a musician? He would say, he would never said rock star. And I'm like, well, I'll learn. I'm, I'm, for crap's sakes, I'm 14 years old. <laughs> and then I did take a few lessons from him when I was like 16, 17, when he came back and he gave a few lessons. And no one else, this is like, no, he didn't. Blah, blah, blah. Joe Holmes took lessons too during that time. So I don't know Joe, but. He said in an interview that he signed up to take those lessons that Randy was given for a little while when he came back before he took off on the diary tour, I think it was. So There you go. I'm sorry. i got to wrap this up, man. But uh, this is a Sid vid, and it's also a Randy Rhodes birthday video. This is cause it's, Let's just say it's the Randy Rhodes birthday still, December 6th. This is around December 6th, 2019. So happy birthday, Randy. I hope whoever took that stuff, they can get it back, because that sucks. Ozzy's putting out $25,000 for uh, you know any info leading to the recovery of it. And uh, that's cool for Ozzy to even do that. I'm surprised that Sharon didn't shoot that down and make it like 500 bucks or something, but good for them. There you go. That's it.
subscribe, comment. Happy birthday to Randy Rhodes.